quick video on electron configuration and how it links uh, to the position of the element in the periodic table. We're just going to consider up to Krypton because for A-level chemistry, that's as far as we need to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the subshells that are filling up in the different parts of the periodic table. So starting with hydrogen, it's the 1S subshell that fills there. And then when you get to lithium, the 2S starts to fill. And the boron, 2P. And when you get to sodium, it's 3S. Aluminium, start filling up 3P. Potassium, start filling up 4S. And then when you get to scandium, start filling up 3D. And when you get to gallium, you start filling up 4P. So like I said at the start, the position of the element can tell you the electron configuration. So I'll give you a couple of examples. So we'll just go for, let's go for silicon, just picking random ones here. Now there are two rogue ones, which I'll deal with at the end, but apart from those two, all of the other 34 elements, you can get their electron configuration nice and easily from the position. So silicon first. So if you think about where it is in the periodic table, we're starting to fill the three P subshell. So all of the ones before that are full. And then look at where it is in that three P part. It's the second one in. So it's going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. Let's go for uh, this one here. So potassium. So 4s is just starting to fill. So everything else is full. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. We'll do one of the transition elements. So let's go vanadium. So what we're filling now, we're filling the 3D subshell. It's the third one in. So it's going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so the two rogue ones now. So right next to uh, vanadium is chromium. So what you would expect for chromium would just be one more than the vanadium. So what we said before, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not that. So what happens with chromium, one of the 4s electrons jumped up in energy, so it goes to 4s1, and the chromium becomes 3d5. So that's the first rogue one. The other rogue one is copper. So again, we'll just say what you would expect it to be. So look at where it is in this subshell. It's the ninth one along. So you'd expect all of this full, 4s2, 3d9, but it's not that. Similar thing happens for copper. One of the 4s electrons jumps up, so it's 4s1, and that generates a full 3d subshell, so 3d10. 